Hey, this is Brad Bigfoot Running. Welcome back. It's uh, Friday morning. I'm just taking Buddy for a gentle run around Windvale Dam, stopping for some fetch and for a sniff, taking it pretty easy. Not gonna lie, my uh, right foot's been a little bit sore and there's only 15 days to go to the, uh, the highest and I'll still get a couple more runs and I think it's gonna be okay. At the same time, there's no point uh, getting injured at this point. Just taking this guy for a gentle one. Might head out somewhere else later, get some trails in. As long as my foot pulls up okay after this little one. Bit of a test run, actually. Whee! Buddy! <laughs> oh my god. Get out of it! Whoa! <laughs> oh, he's going crazy. What are you doing? Hey! <laughs> buddy! Oh, he's wet now. They get snagged. I'm not getting in there, mate. Buddy's having a swim. Buddy's a triathlete, I reckon. What are you going to do? You're unpredictable, buddy. Actually, no, he's predictable. He's going to do something crazy. No, I mean, he'll do something. No, buddy. Watch out. He'll shake next to you. Oi! I told you. What are you gonna do now? Hmm? Come on, buddy, this way. No, no, no. All right. So I'm just gonna go for a run along the creek without the dog this time. So 15 days away from the Hyson 115 kilometer ultra that I've been training for. Um, so yeah, this being the third week out, I'm gonna have a two week taper. So the last week's gonna be pretty much no running. And then Saturday's the highest one. I'll probably walk the dog that last week, but yeah, no running until the day of the event. That'll give me a chance to heal up and hopefully freshen up a bit. The week before that, so next week, if I'm doing a two week taper, will be the first week of the taper. Not a complete break, but just um, taking off the mileage a little bit. I might still go out for one longer run, but yeah, you can include a few days rest as well. And this week, well, if my right foot wasn't sore, I'd probably be getting one more big week in, but it's feeling pretty sore. So I'm trying to just get a few extra kilometers in a, in a gentle way at the moment. It's feeling better on this run after having another day's rest yesterday. So yeah, just get a few k's in now. Might go for a trail run later today as well. See how we go. Got some nice weather again today. Been raining the last couple of days. Yeah, back to blue skies. Bit of my morning loop in reverse. My foot's actually feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'll be fine. If I keep running straight ahead, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to draw the face of a dog on my Strava map. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I don't know if I did the, uh, the dog's head or not. You never know. <laughs> I've seen it on Strava though. I'm close to it. Not sure if I actually drew the dog's head though. We'll see. Because the right foot's feeling pretty good, I've decided to extend the run a bit. Might not need to go out again this afternoon. Hopefully this satisfies the urge. 
At this point in the training, with just three weeks to go, it's more about maintaining while um, avoiding injury and then freshening up through that last week and a bit of taper. It's nice out here today. We're just at the back of Cobbler Creek, kind of freestyling it really. I just love how tracks like this are so close to where I live. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Actually reminds me a lot of my childhood because when we were kids, we'd go exploring on our BMXs. We'd sometimes end up here, except you'd have a shovel and a backpack and you'd be making jumps along the way, maintaining your old jumps. You'd go get some uh, hot chips, two bucks, enough to share between five of you. And then you'd probably go home to the person's house who mum lets them watch Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. That was pretty much a day back then. Still running the same trails. I find a bit of single trail. Love it when the sunlight's filtering through the trees. Copper Creek. Single trail. Yeah, it's really nice out today. It would be great if the Hyson is like this, the weather. See how we go. And we'll take whatever comes our way. rocking my shoe. I tried gluing these back together the other day as you can see didn't last long. Should still be able to get these to a thousand k's though and I'll be wearing my new ugly cream coloured pair on race day. <laughs> didn't get any choice of colours in my size but hey yeah bit of a shame they tore apart on both shoes. Um, but yeah, it's like the uh, cushioning and the stability. See that chunky rear end. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Definitely not hard to find some trails nearby in any direction where I live, which is really cool. I'm gonna start heading home now. We'll leave the trails behind for now anyway. Yes, I managed to draw the dog's hand. There he is. I'll just give him a little scratch behind the ear. Oh, don't be jealous, buddy. I'll give you a pat now. Oh, good boy. Doing a bit of sunbaking, mate. Getting that golden brown. Oh, nice. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Don't go anywhere, mate. Buddy. Good boy, good boy. Oh, good boy. Push all that damn water up here. Oh, he's liking this. It's like a massage, isn't it, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. It's nice warm water. 
This is why he doesn't bother about home, buddy. He hates that.